vehicle. Not only are we open for business, but it looks as though the customers have beaten us to it. Beats me how they all cram in here, Master. I mean, I know time gets disrupted, but space does some pretty... Yes, 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 the book, Pickle. The boys are ready, even if you're not. Book of quests, Master. And on the path, we have Dungeoneer Chris, guided by Paul, Keith and Kieran, searching for the crown. And they've been at it nearly 30 minutes. Level two, this team, Master. And possessed of a quill pen and a bag of silver. Not for much longer, I suspect, if Master Scaramanga has his way. Ah, yes, I see what you mean. Shop, please. I mean, uh, game on. <laughs> well, what can I do for you, Christopher? Um, have you got any spells? Any spells? Oh, magic. Oh, no, you don't want to bother with that stuff. Very, very nasty, that is. Now, it is true that I am a licensed dealer in charms. In fact, the only one for miles around, but... I would be doing you a very big disfavour if I sold you any of that stuff, because it's very, very dangerous, very nasty, especially if you're not used to it. Now, you take my advice, eh? Take old Julius's advice, and let me sell you this potion of impurity. Now, one sprinkling of this stuff, you'll smell so awful that even goblins will run away. Huh? Well, how about it, eh? It's only going very cheap. But asking, what do you think, guys? Um, he says he's got spells. But yeah, ask us. Oh, ask again about spells. Um, uh, are you sure you haven't got no more spells? Any spells? Well, uh, how about a sword? Would you like a sword, no? No, thanks. You wouldn't? All right, then. All right. But don't say I didn't warn you. It just so happens that I do have a couple of, well, small spells in stock. And they cost a bag of silver each. Yeah, we've got a bag of silver. Um, yeah. Shall we? Yeah, yeah go yes. on. Yes. Yeah, well, let's see the silver, then. Yeah. All right. Now, they're called, uh, one is called change, and the other is called switch. Which one do you want? Which one do you guys think? Change, change or switch? Or switch. Um, mm, both change. Oh, come on, make up your mind. I've got other customers, yeah. you know. Change. Go for change, change, Chris. Um, I'll take the change. Change. Thank you. Well, change it is, and if I might say so, a very, very wise choice. Now, all the best with your questing, all right? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some more business to attend to. Yes, madam, this helmet. Lovely helmet. Come on, Dave, onward. I think there's a way out there. Yeah. Oh, You're still here? Up there, past turn the left. cart. Oh, to walk turn, on the beach, Turn you? left, Chris. Yeah. OK. Oh, good idea. Side step to your left. Get out of it. Turn a bit to your right. That's it, now go forwards. You're looking through the eye shield and you've just passed the cart. And there's a door in front of you. You've just gone through the door. Crystal. Where am I? You're in a room with an archway before you, and on your right is a firestone in a block of ice. Yes, surely, Master, that is a firestone. No, it's a firestone, right enough, Pickle. Elita was telling the truth. But this unnatural freezing is Isandra's work. Certainly it'll take powerful magic to dismiss it. Try and change it. Change it. Oh, water. Go on. You're spell caster. All right. Spell casting. C-H-A-N-G-E. <gasps> Master! The opposition's pulled a stroke and Chris has fallen for it! Oh, yes. I do hope his, his family isn't watching this or it's likely to cause some distress. Well, you better tell him what's happening, Team Christopher. He may not be aware of this transformation. Chris, you've turned into a goblin. Uh, goblin. Goblin. A goblin, I think. Mm, change it back then. No, Paul. What Paul. was that? Master, he's even sounding like a goblin. Yes, well, well don't panic them, pick them that now. Now, Team, you've been tricked, and, and there's no way of telling how long this unnatural transformation will last. Who knows? Could be permanent, unless you can find a way of changing Christopher back. Mm. You could try this spelling, I suppose, but I yeah. rather suspect this charm is cast locked. Trouble. Yeah. Uh, this spell. Oh. E. What? 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 Just. Paul, just stay. Paul, I think I should. Paul, I think I should be a goblin. I mean, in case we need it later on. Well, he seems to want to stay a goblin. One okay. way of looking at it. Yeah. Fine, all right, then. I'll yeah, right. Case yeah, right. OK, fine, so, if you want okay, to do like that. Yeah, what are we going to do about that, though? The yeah, well, you can't do anything. It's frozen. Mm. So 
So. You should just go through the archway. I think then. it must be onward then, team. Mm. Okay, Chris, sidestep to your right. Again. And again. Keep on going until I say stop. Okay, st stop. Now walk forwards. Chris, we're looking through the eye shield and you're walking down a path into a courtyard. Ruined. You're in a courtyard with a table in front of you and there's some objects on the table. Walk forward. There's some grapes. Shall I put them in the bag? Yeah. 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 Put that down at once, you nasty little sneak thief. <laughs> put it down. I write goblins, is it? Well, there's only one way to deal with goblins. Where did I put the staff of Saint Smasher? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dispel. E G N A H C. Right. With the sacred staff of Saint Smasher the Aggressive, I shall put an end to all this. <laughs> Are you any last say, words? Say, 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 say you're not a goblin. I'm not a goblin! What do you mean you're not a goblin? In what sense are you not a goblin? I've got a spell on me! A spell? Don't be ridiculous. I mean, you, you look like a goblin, you sound like a goblin, and if you don't mind me being personal, you even <laughs> smell like a goblin. And therefore, I am driven to the inescapable conclusion that you are, in fact, a goblin. What I'd like to demonstrate to now, as I was saying. No, I'm not! What do you mean you're not? Not a goblin? Who are you then? Christopher! I'm a dungeoneer! Christopher? But I, I met you before, didn't I? You are quite a, a handsome young idiot. Uh, a dungeoneer. Dungeoneer. Uh, so how did you come by this disaster? I got a spell! A spell? Oh, well, I can sympathize with you then. Audris the Confuser once turned me into a giant lizard, and they wouldn't let me back in the monastery. It took me weeks to get back into shape, and even then I kept on shedding my skin. Like you didn't get back into shape. Well, now, I suppose, I suppose I might be able to help you. Yes, let me see. This spell is obviously cast locked, and that's a serious matter. Hmm. Therefore, you should find somebody who takes nothing seriously. Yes, the only person who can help you is Motley. Now, I know a spell which helps to find people, but to cast it, you need something that belongs to them. Now, I know that Motley has left his little folder all, his, his fool on a stick lying around somewhere here. Uh, do you happen to have it? No. Oh. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. You are in dreadful trouble, then. I think you may be stuck in that shape possibly forever. I think, um, I don't want to be snobbish, but I think you had better move along now before they get me excommunicated for conversing with goblins. Off you go, uh, off that way. I'll take the grapes. Well, you might as well, yes. You guys, what way I should go? Turn, Turn to your right. Sidestep to your right. And again. And again. Walk forward. Walk forward. Yeah, turn Stop. right. Turn right. Take, take a side step to your right. Another one. Turn slightly to your left. Just slightly. Now just walk forward. Now walk forward. Oh, left again. Slightly to your left. Yeah. We're looking through your eye shield. And you're still in the ruined castle. You're Looks like you're about to go through another door. Yeah. Where am I? You're in a courtyard and there's a wall on the other side and there's a door in front of you. The wall's turned into a face. Word. The 
it's not it's not gonna be the same one. No, this one. This blue green green. Yeah. Oh, no. It's jelly in the middle. Alright, Chris? Yeah? Try red, blue, green and grey. Red, green, blue and grey! No, no Chris! No, no. What? Red, red blue! blue. Ooh, nasty! Team Motley would have given you the password, but you just couldn't find him. Well, there's one good thing to come out of all this. It's the only certain way to get rid of a goblin and get back your Dungeoneer. So, spellcasting. D-I-S-M-I-S-S. There you are, boys. One completely human Dungeoneer delivered back to you safe and sound. So, farewell. But what about the score, Master? 6-1! The score doesn't matter, Bickle. It's playing the game that counts. Enter, stranger. Ah, name, age and direction, please. I'm Duncan Souls, 12 years old, and I come from Windsor. Duncan the Dungeoneer, how dastardly. Oh, don't dither, Bickle. Uh, Duncan, you'll have advisors, so call them, please. Ian, Deborah, Richard. Welcome. Who guides this Dungeoneer? Ian Healy. Deborah Healy. Richard Thomas. Splendid. Now, before you begin, you must pledge to redeem one of three quest objects. The cup, the sword, or the crown. Choose now. Which will it be? The sword. The sword. The sword. An original choice, Master. The knapsack. Now, Duncan, this knapsack will feed your life force. Place all food in it, but only food. And now, for the eye shield. Slip this on your... Sh your Wrist like that, or this will show your friends the path you take. And finally, the famous helmet of justice. Unless, of course, you wish to reconsider. No. No. Good. <laughs> there we are. Turn then. Face the portal and step boldly forward into your adventure. Where am I? Duncan, you're on the top, on the back of a dragon. Oh, this is most unfair, Master. How can Duncan be expected to pay Smirkinov's fare when he's only just started his quest? Oh, don't carp so, Pickle. The powers that be know best. And if Smirkinov didn't want to give him a free ride, he wouldn't. Listen, Duncan, this is one of the last of the great aerial beasts that in legend were called dragons. And you must ride him to your destination. You won't, of course, be able to control him. Well, at least, not until you get a great deal more powerful. So, walk forward, follow his spines, until you see the dragon rider's saddle. Then get in, sit down, and hold on tight. Right, Duncan. That's right, you guide yeah. him on there. Walk forward, Duncan. Can you see it? Yeah. Right, get on it. Is Smirkinoff heading, Master? Well, we believe the destination is a tiny hamlet called Wolfenden. So look out for it, to you. And when you see signs of civilization, you must tell the dragon to land. Right, Duncan, you're flying in the air on the back of the dragon. Duncan, there's some houses nearby, so can you tell the dragon to land? New land. <laughs> That's a steady landing. Right, Duncan, can you stand up, please? Right, if you turn right around. Right, can you walk back the way you came, please? Duncan, um, you're going in the village and there's lots of houses. Right, Duncan, 
You've just walked into, um, almost into a house. And there is a couple of boxes to your left, more like crates, and to your right there's some more boxes. Can you go over to the boxes? So that's, go forward, walk forward. Right, stop. Can you take a side step to your right? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Right, take the bread and put it in your thing. Is that right? Silver. Look at the scroll, Duncan. First purchase the key, then find the lock. And what else was there? Uh, can you tell us what's on the table, please, Duncan? There's, there's a candle, and there's a bag of silver written on it, a dagger, and a helmet. Right, Duncan, can you take the silver? The candle. OK, can you take the candle as well, please? Right. Right, Duncan, turn to your left. Right, walk forward. <laughs> right, we can now see you through the eye Fashion. shield. Where am I? You're in a sort of courtyard. There's two... People, um, talking around the stall, I think it is. Um, do you want to make your way over to it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. take a couple of side steps to your left. Here, roll up, roll up. Come a bit closer. Come on, come over here. Come on. Walk forward. Now, yeah, look. All right, that's far enough. You don't have to get too close. Now, I ain't going to tell you that I've got the bargain of a lifetime, but you're unlikely to find another one as long as you live. <laughs> And if you're on a quest, you're not likely to live very long anyway, are you? <laughs> and now, young sir, you look like you've got an eye for a bargain. Well, at least you would have if you didn't have that funny hat on, eh? <laughs> so, how about some of these? Genuine philosopher's stones. Each one guaranteed to bring a revelation. Now, am I asking five groats apiece? Am I ick? Am I asking three? Fiddly dee. Now, in fact, I am literally throwing these away at the measly knockdown price of one gross a piece. Hey, so um, how many can I put you down for, huh? Oh, come on, tell me. Say, um, no thank you, but what about the key around your neck? No thank you, but would you sell the key around your neck? Well, this old key? Oh, you don't want this? No, it's worthless. I only wear it for sentimental value. How about some gloves, hey? Keep it nice and warm in the winter. Or some boots, they're lovely, virtually unworn. I can vouch for it. Well, how about it? Um, Duncan, offer him the silver for the key. I'll give you the silver if you give me the key. Oh, will you? Oh, mm. Ooh, all right then. But, uh, well, you know when I said it was worthless? Well, uh, it's not uh, strictly true. It's actually very, very valuable. And I suspect it's worth exactly the amount you've got in that bag. <laughs> so, uh, uh, fair exchange is no robbery, is it, eh? Here you are. Thank you. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't hang around too much because I'm not. Uh, got a little bit of business somewhere else. See you around. All right, get out of it. <laughs> Duncan, take a side step to your left. Right, Duncan, we can see you through the eye shield now. Mm. Okay. Coming up to a house with a shield next to the door. Where am I? You're in a 
our old house and there's two people by a table and one's I think pouring a drink out or something to the other. Have a seat, sir. <laughs> oh, the gentleman left this for you. Hmm, a spyglass. With one of these, it's possible to learn what the opposition is up to. Oh, it's risky, master. Use it too long and the opposition gets to track you down. And then... Risks have to be taken, Pickle. Risks have to be taken. Deborah, why don't you get Duncan to hold it up in front of the eye shield? Then we'll see what happens. Duncan, hold the spyglass in front of the eye shield. Julius Scaramanga, my good merchant, I know you can hear me, so answer. Ah, there you are, Scaramanga. Have you considered my offer? Well, indeed I have, Your Worship. And I must say, I'm very, very, very honoured indeed. But to be honest, that, well, it's my middle name, isn't it? I'd uh, really rather not sign up for the opposition if you don't mind. Uh, nor the powers that be, or I have no truck with them, none whatsoever. Now, I would prefer to remain, um, well, you know, uh, neutral. Ah, like all good middlemen, and take money from both sides? Very well, then. But don't sell them the key. Ah, well, I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Your Worship. Uh, you see, they made, they made me this very good... It's right! Now get after them and get it back! And if you have to pass a blocker, you'll need the day word. It's imbecile, and it's completely appropriate. Quick, Deborah, get him to put it down. Duncan, put the spyglass down. Oh, there, Master. I told you it was risky. Now get them out of this inn fast. Hurry! Right, Duncan, take a few steps backwards, please. Right, can you turn to your right, please? Right, take a step forward. And again. Right, stop, take Side two... Sidestep to your right. And again. And again. We're looking through the eye shield now. Going into a room, it looks like. There's some stairs to your right. Can you go up them? Where am I? Oh, no, they can't stop them there. I hate darkness. It's not a problem, Pickle. We all sleep at night time, don't we? Oh, I forgot. You probably don't. Anyway, this lot are sleeping now. At least it, it's a form of sleep. And the watchers, Master? Do they sleep now? Oh, not yet, Pickle. It's not their bedtime yet. They'll be sleeping later, won't you? Oh, and by the way, when you do sleep, pleasant dreams. Mm -hmm.